Hi everyone. So here is the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. Moreover, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I have preached, or what I preached to you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So the gospel, the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus that he died for our sins. Uh, a lot of people think this is all, um, it's just that he died for our sins and, and then we're suddenly Christians and um, following that we put the gospel behind us and we move on to learning how to be a good Christian and not sinning and um, uh, try and go out and make disciples and um, share the gospel and then teach pe people how to not sin and live good Christian lives and on and on the cycle goes. Um, but the gospel is the foundation. It is everything in the Christian life or it should be everything in the Christian life. It it is what the positional truths or the identification truths are all about. So uh, Jesus died. So our old man died, was crucified with Jesus on the cross. Um, our sins were nailed to the cross. Our flesh was nailed to the cross. Um, and we died. And then, so our old nature is dead and buried. So the next thing is buried. Uh, Jesus was buried in the tomb. So also was our old man, our, our old nature. And then on the third day, Jesus rose. Um, he was resurrected. So with the same resurrection power that God raised Jesus from the dead, he raises us from the dead. We have that power within us and we have new life. We have been risen in Christ Jesus to new life we are in him and um, obviously beyond the uh, initial uh, rising on the third day he went 40 days later he he went up to heaven and we went with him because we are seated in heavenly places um, he is seated at the right hand of God the father and we are in him also seated there in him our life is hid in Christ. Wherever he is, that's where we are. So the gospel isn't just something that we should put away once we've believed it about Jesus. We should um, identify in it, identify in the crucifixion, the, the burial, the death and the resurrection because that is what has happened to us. What happened to him? has happened to us in, in the spiritual realm. And to live a victorious Christian life, we need to understand that. And, um, you know, that, that is how we understand what, what the flesh is and what it's capable of and what has happened to it and how our new life is uh, the reborn spirit that, is, that cannot sin and it is joined to the Holy Spirit all joined to Jesus basically um, and it cannot sin so it's really the foundation of everything it's the source of everything everything that Jesus did he did at, on the cross he did everything on the cross he said it is finished um, everything we need everything we have everything you know, the, the, the entire plan of God for um, redemption of mankind culminated with the cross and basically everything that needed to happen has happened and the rest is just, um, it, it's, he, God is outside of time. So to him, it's all happened already. He can see from beginning to end he knows the end from the beginning. Um, for us, we're sort of going through it, but he's already seen it. He's already ordained it. It's, it's happened. 
And the gospel, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the center of all of that. It's what, it's how he defeated sin and Satan and death. It's finished, it's done. And everything we do from now on is from a place of victory. So we can pr pr pray from a place of victory because he has already won the battle. We don't need to fear anything because he, he has won and we are in him, so we have nothing to fear. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. See you later.